Hello folks and welcome back. Once again we are here playing Darkfall the Journal. In this episode we will hopefully wrap up a few things, answer some questions. Just in general, solve the game. Now this is a hard ass fucking game to record for me. I don't know why, it just is. That's why I haven't done it in a long while. Okay. Anyhow, let's solve this mystery. Alright, we take this thing, the surveyor, well, the Adelite. And we do this. We try to figure out what exactly it is that we're aiming at here. Alright. Okay, that's new. Alright. I'm not exactly sure what that'll solve. Okay. Once more we fuck around with little things. Do I wait for the thermometer to go down? I do not know. Go away or it will find me. Go away or it will find me. This room is ghastly. Why did I ever come here? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, really nothing. we haven't already seen before. I'll try with this game. I am trying. Alone. 
nobody could figure out what the fuck the keys and stuff were for. Nothing. Does it do this every time I load up the game or try to explore a new area? Pickles, in a box, in a plate, good price. I think during this time, uh, Ian was still doing the entire rations thing. That's why most of our food was bad. Oh, come on. There's something in here. I know there is. Where do I click on you? Oh, fuck you. Okay. I've been in here. What a strange clock. It's got buttons on it. Yeah, buttons. Buttons, 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 buttons. Buttons. Does this mean? All right. Okay, there's bread, a box of more, and probably a food order. Oh, a food floor. I think you've read all of this stuff. Last night after the scoundrels. Oh, rather sorry for the late actress Matilda Fly. The song lasted a few minutes when I joined the audience and a chorus of booze and hisses. Didn't do your job, but it's still someone to cheat Miss Fly to put her out of her miserable acting career once and for all. Uh, Matilda Fly flees London after bad reviews. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, she's on the platform. I 
Just need to tell you the flight is still missing after running from London Stream. Four and no. Okay. Puzzles are all kind of odd. exactly sure what that's supposed to do. Maybe you just have tracing. Yeah. Yeah, maybe it's the tracing thing. Alright. Another. 
Ah. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now. Oh. Lusa, the symbols had been scattered. This in itself could save us if the means of entrapment are hidden. It is less likely to be able to stop Miss Avery. We all think I'm mad. Perhaps I am, though I will not rest until the act has been fulfilled. The words are strained to the tongue, and I will have to practice the reading. Arthur hid the other words well beyond the visible, exposed by flame, but this one will be remain here hidden within this box. Okay. So, got another sim. It is odd that we can't take these with us. It'd make more sense to me. I mean, it would make a ton more sense to me. Cool, one of the keys we found is useful. I'm guessing she didn't make it. Okay, her journal. Manhattan Industries. Holy shit. Welcome to my journal. Helpful. Experiments made by myself, Polly White, and my partner, Nigel Lander. The final project of our degree in alternative science review decided to carry out a professional psychic investigation. We have chosen the Station Hotel in Dyerton Train Station for our mission, both are abandoned and have a history of supernatural occurrences, folk tales, and more recently disappearances. As many as 12 people are believed to have disappeared from the location that night. Early morning of 29th and 30th, April 1947, including the landlady, Edith Penfold, her daughter and owner of the hotel, George Crabtree, a massive police search and investigation followed, but no clues or leads were discovered. It remained a mystery. 1980, a local Dowerton man, Edward Tully, carried out an, an amateur but well-documented investigation into this very location. His diary in our possession has entries which talk of ghosts and strange appearances within the train station. Sadly, it also mysteriously, and also mysteriously, I mean, Edward Tully did not return from the station one night. His neighbor alerted the local police after he failed to return home to feed his cat. Police found some of Mr. Tully's belongings, but no sign of the man himself, a mystery to this day. Photographs taken by myself, Nigel, and Nigel will illustrate the journal entries. Okay. Our setup is so cool. 
all the equipment came in yesterday, so Nigel and I have been unpacking boxes. Christmas comes early in Dowerton. The university's deal with Haddon Industries is paying off big time. Not only have we got loads of RDCs, but we've also been lent an RTS. Electromagnetic fluctuation monitors. Got, they got a bunch of new toys to check out and play with. Like sprites on the platform? Hmm. Mr. Crowhurst came for a nose around earlier. He seemed very impressed. He doesn't believe a word of what we are saying. He's pleasant, though, for an architect. He's ready for some technical building work on this place. We'll start in a couple months. Would have liked longer for the survey, but that's life. Uh, I'm talking about all this stuff. Saw a door open by itself. That was a first. The floor was. Hmm. Cellar. A night. Hmm. Something located high in the surrounding activity. Shadows. Should be in the yeah, I've seen those. Hmm. There's no way I'm going to read all this. Shadows, something's going on in the cellar. <coughs> hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that that shadow murdered everyone, lady. Yeah, a crime scene nearby the hauntings. Hmm. More recordings. Hmm. Okay. Tampering with the lights. Kitchen. Okay. Bathroom. Two beds swinging. Ah. I probably already read, read this. No. Yeah, I did. Progress. Preparing a surprise in the basement. Sweet plush. She leans well, but he really doesn't have any idea how to impress a girl. Bless him. He's finally decided to share his work with me. I'm dying to find out what he has been doing in the basement. God knows what it could be, but it's just taken a lot of work and full use of the phone I can't. Incredible. All they have for sentry so far, so I can't. It has to be one of the major archaeological finds in the UK. I wrote 
more later. I am desperate to get down. Now we pop back up to the torch. We'll be back soon. So they woke up something down here in the basement. Okay. Hmm. And how do I get out of this? Oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me. Ay, 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 ay. How the fuck do I get... We'll be back later, folks. Trust me. Trust me, we will finish this. Alright, here we go. Now, we need to be careful about this shit, because apparently this... That's a bad thing. My music is a bad thing. Alright. These are all the people that disappeared. No. Bunch of shit we already know. So that needs to. All right. Let's go to this one. Keyboard. Mm. Okay. 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 
this, I guess this is just her, uh, web page. Histories of the 20th century. I said that wrong name. Oh, cool. We actually made it here. Any room? Cecily. Well, kind of cool. Hmm. All right, I already did this puzzle. Oh yeah, I did this.
Let's see what's in this guy. Okay, see? Okay. Maybe it needs a needle. Okay. All right. Yay. Hello, George. I have been quite careful with what I write. I think the captain, I think Captain Bar Bartlett, let reads this post. No worries, though. It's great here. Nothing but we thought. The other chaps are great fun, and I am learning a lot of things. Very dreamt of in Galaxy. Still have missed the old base, though. Still miss. Some big rigs from the London Rad, and they spent the uh, whole night in the operations room. They said, This is it. Don't worry, I'm not nervous. I just want to get this thing over and done with. Sort them out once and for all. That should not take long. Another token guy. Scott. Yeah, that's Will. Huh. That's an old little uh, note. Oh. Yeah. Then I use in the army, I guess. Okay. Very grabble, garble, reliable gog. Aloria, a rabble. Who the devil is she? That car, perhaps it's the car that aroused my suspicious nature. They expect it too expensive for most, so why stay in this hotel? Not exactly in Savoy, is it? Alas, even if any thoughts on the matter, I think a quick look over at that car would be quite needed. <clears throat> huh. Okay. Well, let's see, break these grease. About Arthur or something. Yeah, probably about Arthur. Okay. Oh. Great new food offers are promised as from next week when a huge si shipment of spam processed them. Finally arrives on these shores from the U.S. Top London chefs are putting the finishing touches on a new book entitled "Make Your Man Happy with Spam." Yeah, they were definitely rationing back in those days. Okay. Most extraordinary discovery, quite by accident as well. Arthur and I were 
pottering about in the cellar, we were both wondering if we could determine the cellar's age, or the whereabouts of Tom Oliver's final resting place. Don't be sweat tears, and I've never taken this too s taking it too seriously. Just finds it fascinating and a little romantic that's lost on me. Nevertheless, we took it upon ourselves, rather arrogantly, to solve the Oliver mystery. Jolly excited. My art skills are appalling when compared to Arthur's skilled, but this is a rough copy of Tom Oliver, which I based on the old drawings. Hanging on the bar. Hanging on the bar. Anyway, I digress. We found no sign of Tom, but instead we discovered an antechamber. There is a layman's marker in a small room, no doubt announcing the date of the original destruction, 1318. Tales and stories have always implied there was an inn at this location for several centuries, but the layman's stone bears the date, 1318. Amazing what we find. Now we will try to discover what significance the stone might have. So we just have to keep a journal of our work. Discovery whispers left us both sick and puzzled. We both agree that the library in the house may enlighten us to the hotel's original origin. There are numerous records, the landowner's deeds that we can search. Father built the hotel last century. It is well known that the build was quickened by the existence of foundations and that parts of the original inn were still in existence. Though there are a few indications of what stood here before the 15th century. More is a pity. Well, we know that there was a building of some significance long before the inn. Stone walls have found, we have found are not made of local stone and their construction is of high standard. The mind wheels at the possibilities. Perhaps this was a chapel or a religious building. We are about to explore the room further and I will photograph it for our records. The adventure gets more strange by the day. The antechamber was only the beginning. A further passage was revealed today. We were both tempted to announce our find. We are not archaeologists, and we both fear we are damaging the ancient clues and artifacts. Arthur insists that we push on, give the announcement until we have something truly impressive to show off. Oh, wait. Nice painting, luxury, design, and real energy. No entertainers is fancy. I have the most overwhelming, s overwhelming feeling of unease this day. I put it down to nervous excitement at first, but it's not so easily defined. There's something about this chamber that scares me to my soul. I made the decision that should we not explore fur that we should not explore further until we have researched further. Arthur was stubborn, but came around to my thinking. These last two days have changed everything. I don't not know where to start. It is not our fault. It cannot be our fault. We were not to know. The chamber. It is not as we or anyone could understand. It is both extraordinary and baffling. Beyond faith, beyond reason, there is power, a rippling energy that plays across the walls and ceiling. It is... A godless power and has no place in our world. Arthur was terrified. I was too shocked. Ah, oh, the luminescence. Wondrous. A thousand voices whispered at us from beyond the stones. A thousand voices in our perpetual, perpetual confusion. Okay, we will make ourselves as quickly as possible. Our fury is not personal. There was time, enough time, a splinter, in fact, enough for something to follow us back through the passage. I felt it, I heard it, the whispering. Arthur felt it too, he described it as darkness. Darkness with no form or existence. What the devil was it? We sealed the chamber again. I will hide as well as I can, though I already know it is too late. We are both fools, but we will not know. But, but we were not to know. There is no way we could know. I fear for our souls. I fear for all our souls with what we have released. I remember enough of what we saw to draw a few basic sketches. I should have had my camera, damn stupid fool. 
saddens me and terrifies me to write these words. I feel as though I will write my fears. It is here that Rip took us in the hotel. I have experienced the most bizarre and unnatural visions. The dead are here all around us. I have seen and heard them. Edith suspects that something is wrong, but as yet she does not has not experienced anything supernatural. Perhaps it will only affect Arthur and I. Our own personal trauma is... Is it our punishment for curiosity? I hope so. No one else should live with our knowledge. All is not a misery. We plan to study our foe, discover its power and agenda. I've already decided that it does not seem to have... That it seems to have some sort of affinity with the dead. That may be our key to 